Hi, Jan Corret Garcia for Giga Home TV, with G2 Engineering Director for Google, working on Google Plus Hangouts. And you guys recently launched apps for Google Plus Hangouts. What are those apps about? What can people do with them? And why did you launch it? Well, we, we launched a few apps. I'm mean, partnered with a, a couple of companies to launch apps like Squeak Noodle and Poker. But the really interesting and valuable part that why I'm excited about the as a platform is that we enable developers and users to extend the Hangout experience. Like we get requests all the time for feature functionality that people are passionate about that really satisfy the needs of a small set of subset of people. Right? So instead of like having a, a thousand features all crammed into Hangouts, what we really want to do is enable those subsets to get what they need by working with developers and having developers also innovate and try crazy, amazing things that we like, wouldn't have thought of or wouldn't necessarily have the time to implement. Right? So unleashing developers for the creativity and satisfying all the different uh, individual needs that subsets of people have. Like, that's what we want to do with the platform. What are some of the interesting apps, that want, you want some of your favorite apps that have already launched? Uh, from a games perspective, uh, I, I, I really enjoy poker. Um, and then uh, the YouTube guys release YouTube Slam, which I played, and, and that's kind of crazy and fun. Um, I, uh, Scoot Doodle is great. Like I actually use that. Like I'm here on the road right now, and I call back home, and then uh, I interact with my kids. I have a seven-year-old, and you know, drawing and, and goofing around with her really keeps her engaged. Um, I, I just saw uh, someone release a, uh, a caption title commenting app where you can overlay banners and titles over your video. Um, someone I, I, just, I just saw yesterday release a co-browsing app where you can browse a different website and then shoot that and sort of collaboratively, collaboratively shop uh, around. I think there are lots of great things and I think there are a lot more apps that like, I don't even know about yet. I'm wondering if that's a general experience that you had with Hangouts ever since we launched the product last year. Was there a lot of interesting use cases that you guys never thought about and that people just invented along the way? Oh yeah, huge. I think that's been one of the amazing things about Hangouts, that there are so many use cases that people have come up with that we didn't anticipate. And even a few that I was kind of worried about, right? Like, we, we tuned the codec for the conversation for voice. And then people started doing music over it and, and playing concerts. It's like, whoa. We designed that code for voice, or we, we picked that code for voice. We tuned it for that. It, it wasn't wideband, but people are really pushing the envelope. Um, what people like Sarah Hill are doing in terms of using um, Hangouts for interviews, um, she calls it her, her news truck in a pocket. Uh, like that's kind of a, 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 a use case that we hadn't even considered. I heard the story about these surgeons who use Hangouts to consult on a surgery because um, there was a, a, a boy who was shot in Kentucky and the, um, the bullet hit, hit his spine, but the general surgeon wasn't a spine specialist, so he had a consult with some doctors in Chicago. Like, that, those sort of things just like, I didn't even imagine would happen so quickly that people would innovate on, on it so fast. So that's great. I love that. Maybe one last question. What's coming next for Hangouts? What are you, what's the team concentrating on? What, what, what are you working on over the next couple months? Well, I, I won't talk too much about future plans. We, we don't talk a whole lot about that. But, um, but certainly one of the things that people in Muda are working really hard on is Hangouts on Air. Um, right now, Hangouts on Air are, are available to a subset of people. Um, and uh, a lot of the sort of media celebrities are currently using it. But our vision for that is to enable everyone on the planet to have access to on air. Everyone to be able to broadcast themselves. And we're thinking about scenarios such as Occupy Wall Street. And you're in there, something's happening, anyone there can immediately turn into a broadcaster and, and broadcast that out, amplify your voice. We're also thinking about the, uh, the, the TA teacher classroom scenario where you want to have TA office hours. And you may be helping one person, but you want to broadcast that out to the rest of the class so they can watch and learn at the same time. Um, you want to think about like birthdays or, or weddings where like only a certain number of attendees can come, but you have relatives all around the world and you want them to all see it. Like, we think about like, those sort of scenarios as well. I think that Hangouts on Air, reaching out to every individual in the world, is, is a, a, a huge new thing that the world can't currently do, uh, that Hangouts can really enable. So when is that going to come? Uh, well, we don't announce future dates, but we're working as quickly as we can to get there. All right, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you.